the plan may be walking. The plan may be walking. They say, wait, 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 what do you mean by, by the plan may be walking? Um, diversion of attention. Diversion of attention. Before the focus was on the murder of George Floyd. That was the focus. But now there was the, the protesting, then the looting, then the stealing and so forth. So now people have forgotten about the George Floyd murder right now. Now it's like, oh my gosh, look at what is, what's, what's happening. How are you destroying businesses? How you, and you're seeing people right now, what they're now saying is, you're, you look at how you're just ripping this country apart. Look at how you're ripping businesses apart and everything. And I was just having a discussion with someone and this guy said, both things, both you should be mad at both things. You should be mad at people losing their businesses and you should be mad at the murder of George, George Floyd. I'm like, yeah, but they're not the same thing. And I asked this guy that, what would you rather have? Me take away your business and you'd be dead poor or I take your life? Because you still have your life. Yes, you've lost everything. It is bad. Trust me, it is bad. It is bad, but you still have your life. George Floyd, he doesn't have his life anymore. It's gone. So it doesn't even have a chance to try and do something. It's it's gone. Boom. And the thing here is this is cause and effect. That's how the world works. Things just don't happen randomly. That, that's just the science and the physics of the world. For every effect, there's a cause. There is a reason why this happened. There's a reason why this happened. the murder that was caught on video, the Minnesota police wanted to sweep it under the rug and of course the policeman hiding under the blue code which protects police officers. The anger from social media, the anger now went into peaceful protesting. Then as days went through and nothing was was was, was going to happen and the anger mounted up, the peaceful protesting began to go into violent protesting. Then the violent protesting then began to go into um, looting. Then the looting started going to burning down buildings and now going to the White House. So there was a series of events. You don't have the looting or the burning down of buildings if these policemen were arrested on the spot and there were charges, there were already process of the charges being brought to these police officers. This, because, you see, there are people who've taken advantage of this, but you don't have the idiots burning down the businesses and so forth if you don't have the protests. You don't have the protests if um, you don't have the these police officers pretty much looking like if they're going off scot free. Because now there's now a thing of like, is he arrested or is he in protective custody? But the thing, though, is, that's what I said before, the system, the system of America that's enslaved blacks, stole them from their land, the system has always pissed on African Americans and said, it's, it's rain. It's rain. We are pissing on you. We are spitting on you. We are defecating on you. And you're going to accept it. And that is control. That is, the, that is the key thing, psychological control that I can beat you down, treat you like trash, and you'll still love me. It's, for me, it's, it's the Caucasian Martin Luther King complex, you know. I will treat you like trash, treat you like garbage, but you will still show love back to me. And that love you're showing back to me means that I have you under control. You'll never get angry. You'll never get angry. It's like the slave who, I treat the slave like, like trash, he'll always love me. He'll always be nice to me because he, he always believes in the good in my heart while I take advantage of him. But that, that's, that's flipping annoying slave who, he's always complaining. He wants to fight. He wants rights. He, 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 he just brings on violence. It's that annoying. No, 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 the slave I want is a slave that, that shows me love. And it's compassionate. And you know, once in a while, I'll be like, you know what? You have been nice. Yeah, you know, I'll go, I'll, I'll give you a little nice thing over here. But always remember, always remember, I am your master. I am your master, you know. So you be a good slave. You be a good slave. 
All right, you be you be good. you be a good boy. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Um, it's control. And I've seen this story play out so many times. Is the focus now is the looting, the looting, which are not all done by black people, by the way. Some it is done by blacks, by whites, but Ricans. I've, I've, I've been looking at all the videos. Okay, guys, I've been looking at all the videos. The looting has been done by everybody. It's anarchy now, or near anarchy. But I look at things on a macro level because that's what you have to do. If you look at things at a micro level, you don't get anything done. The only way you figure out things is you take a step back. You don't just look in detail. You say, okay, let's take a step back. Ah, it's the blueprint. It's not the room. It's not the kitchen. It's not the cabinets. It's the blueprint, the foundation of the big picture. And the big picture is time and time again, the America's system treats black people like complete and utter crap. And they and because of their ingenious, ingenious, say what you want, ingenious method of control, I'm going to make you accept it. Because in four or five months' time, you're going to be dancing, you're going to be you're going to be rapping, you're going to be telling jokes, okay, and you're going to be entertaining. Because that's your role in the society here, is to entertain. Control. Control. You always make you believe that. Eh, no, look, what's, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? Just this is how it is. Because the, the scary thing, the scary thing is people will look at what happened to George, George, George Floyd and be like, ugh, it's another one. Hey, look, it is what it is, man, man. These these officers and everything just just killing us black people. Rinse, repeat, hashtag. Man, man, this is about black people. No, no, no. Justice, 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 justice. You know, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Oh, this is terrible. Cry, pray. We'll be together. Rinse, repeat. Like, I was looking at guys saying that, you know, like, the Instagram post of, like, you know, <laughs> the accounts of Martin Luther King, quotes I've seen, is amazing. And look, let's be clear, because because me and Nisha, we're having a whole thing, is... Martin Luther King was a great pet. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Do not get it twisted. That guy died fighting for um, the right of Black people in America. So don't get it twisted. Okay, so the, for me, there's the Martin Luther King, the essence of the man, and then there's the machine who have purported this Martin Luther King control, control. We don't care about the Malcolm X who said black people fight back, self um, confidence. Don't just be passive. Have belief in yourself. Fight fire with fire because if you show weakness, you will you will be destroyed. You 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 will be you will be eradicated if you show weakness. Like like the whole thing of like, I'd rather die I'd, I'd rather die free than than live as a slave. Is, 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 is that mindset? So just going into Martin Luther King, no. And remember, the Martin Luther King was as radical as Malcolm X because we only get a portion of, of his speeches. Was I Have a Dream the only speech he, he made? Was I Have a Dream really his best speech? According to who? See, see that's just the thing that, 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 that just messes me up. Why is I Have a Dream his best speech? According to who? Who says that's his best speech? <laughs> Because that was just what was drilled into my, my brain. I have a dream, I have a dream, I have a dream, I have, I have a dream, you know? And I can speak to myself in school, in England. I remember people saying, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King. Okay, okay, cool. But I know you're racist because <laughs> I know how you look at me. And then and I know the kind of energy that you I, I give off when I'm, I'm around you. But you're preaching Martin Luther King about how he's a, he, he's a great man. Uh... You're racist, but Martin Luther King is a, is a hero to you. Uh, so, I just want to put out there, but the thing here about this is always look at the bigger picture. Because pe the issue that people are having are they're looking at things in a microcosm. They're like, well, this is about history, it's about the history of America. And I don't want to hear anything about, 
what about Asians? What about Indian people as well? It's not only black people that do this. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You know. You know. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. <laughs> this is about the history of America and the torturous relationship between black people and the white people in America. And as I've, I've always said, and I think this was said on my stream, the way America was built was built on crime. It was built illegally. It was built on a broken foundation. So things will always come to a head. They will, they will always come to a head. And, and it's been happening. Rod, the Rodney King, the 60s, all, these things, Ferguson, and I don't know maybe whether, whether this is the real powder keg to go through, but I spoke to my uncle. My uncle, he lives in Atlanta. He's been living in Atlanta pretty much most, most of his life. So he's like an American, an American, you know. And I just because 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 stuff was happening in Atlanta, I was like, yo, I, I just was my uncle like goes because my my cousins and my aunts, are you guys fine? Are you guys cool? Please stay at home. Please, please, please. And my uncle said to me that. It's not the virus that's, that's, that's going to kill this country. It's not the virus or Trump or anything. It's not the virus. That's, it's racism. Racism is what will kill this. Is what will kill America. You know. So you can go and say, "Oh, it's the looting, the burning, and and everything." A guy lost his life. A guy lost his life because of the racial view a system views him as. And until you realize that everything is connected, things don't happen in a vacuum. <laughs> That's how human society works. Everything is connected. Nothing happens out of chance. Until you realize that, until you realize that, then you'll see that, no, this isn't just an isolated incident. This is all connected. <laughs> and until you really say something, it will keep on happening because of the need for the system to control, because control is one of the most important aspects of a ruling power and a system. Become a Half Hope Sort member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films, anime, or different videos with your boy HH exclusively. Just click below on the join button to join in and become a Half Hope Sort member to gain access to these perks. Just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you.